I'm Dr. Roger, and we're going to use Laplace transforms to solve a second-order linear homogeneous initial value problem with constant coefficients. The transform of y double prime is s squared uppercase y minus s times y of 0, which is 1, minus y prime of 0, which is 0. And here I'm denoting the transform of lowercase y equals uppercase y and then plus 4 times the transform of y prime, which is 4 times s uppercase y minus 1, and then plus 5 times the transform of y equals the transform of 0, which is 0. Distributing s squared y minus s plus 4sy minus 4 plus 5y equals 0. And I'll generally do that as two separate steps because otherwise, the process of figuring out what these terms are, I sometimes forget to distribute this coefficient. So by doing separate steps, I make fewer careless errors, and that cuts my workload a lot. Moving the s and 4 to the right-hand side, I have s squared y plus 4sy plus 5y equals s plus 4. Factoring out the common factor of y, s squared plus 4s plus 5, uppercase y equals s plus 4. And I notice that the coefficient polynomial here is the same characteristic polynomial I would get if I substituted in y equals e to the rt and solved by that method. Uppercase y equals s plus 4 over s squared plus 4s plus 5. Now, in many cases, I want to do partial fractions with Laplace transforms, but in this case, I can't do partial fractions because my denominator does not factor. What I can do is complete the square. s plus 4 over s squared plus 2s, no, s squared plus Four s plus five equals s plus two squared plus one in my denominator. I want my numerator to be s plus two because the form in my table, and on my table the form that matches with an s minus a squared plus b squared in the denominator, I need an s minus a. In in this case, a a equals negative two. And then my remainder is I still have 2 left over s plus 2 squared plus 1. And now for my table, this would be line 9 and line 10. So I can write uppercase y, the transform of the solution, equals s plus 2 over s plus 2 squared plus 1, and then plus twice 1 over s plus 2 squared plus 1. Since the actual form is b over s minus a squared plus b squared, and the b squared in the denominator is 1, I made my numerator 1, which is more important when the b is not 1, to avoid careless errors. Now this is the transform of my solution, and both terms match the table. So lowercase y, my solution, is line 10 says e to the at, so that's e to the negative 2t. Cosine of bt is cosine of 1t. And then plus twice line 9, which is e to the at, e to the negative 2t. Sine bt is sine of 1t. And as always with Laplace transforms, we not only get the functions, we get their coefficients also for a solution of the initial value problem. Make sure you get a lot of practice with Laplace transforms on these familiar problems because we're going to be introducing some new functions later where Laplace transforms are a much better method of solution. And come back soon for my next video. With differential equations, there's always more.